Well, it's the 10th year for what's now called a night with the Y. The event used to be called an evening of inspiration. No matter the name, though, it's an evening with an important goal, helping others. YMCA Executive Director Bill Soper spoke about that evening with News 19's Dave Soley. We're raising money for our annual campaign, and, and uh, you know, you and I talk about that at the event and pre-event, but it's really to fund um, scholarships, financial assistance for families and kids to make sure that they can participate in, in programs at the YMCA. So we want to make sure nobody's turned away from participating. Uh, last year we awarded about $1.3 million in direct financial assistance to, uh, to families and kids. And so last year, uh, 2018, one in four of our, tw our 33,000 members last year received some kind of financial assistance. So again, we want to make sure the Y is affordable and accessible. The guests have always been terrific and you have another good one this year. We have, we're have we super excited. Yeah, we have uh, Lisa Leslie who is a, a WNBA Hall of Famer. She's a, a Naismith Basketball Hall of Famer. She's a four-time Olympic gold medalist. Uh, so we're really excited to have her uh, visiting our community next week. Well, you can attend because tickets are still available. It's Wednesday night at the Cargill Room at the Waterfront Restaurant and Tavern. For more information, go to YMCA.org. News 19's Dave Soley is the MC that night. And sports, uh, Carly Murata will be live on stage interviewing Leslie. Well, here's another way you can contribute to the YMCA. Every three years, they engage in long-range planning. And they're looking for your input. Executive Director Bill Soper wants to know what you think that the Y can contribute to the community because the organization provides much more than a place to exercise. And it is a great place to work out, play basketball, swim, and so on, but it's so much more than that. It's, uh, you know, it's mental health, and it's uh, our healthy living center with... Um, chronic disease prevention and we're doing diabetes prevention work and we're doing work with cancer survivors and so we're feeding kids in the community. It's so much more than what you might see walking into the YMCA at any given time during the day. If you're interested in providing that input, you can attend a meeting December 9th at noon at the Onalaska YMCA.